Hey everybody, Drake here. I'm here. I've got two guests. I got Dre and CJ. So. This is two hoodies and three cats. Um, Dre is a a musician, an independent musician. Mm -hmm. Is his his deal is called Project Legacy. Yeah, and we're doing Legacy. a special little thing tonight. We're gonna do a music video review of a buddy of his that he's gonna try to do a collab with. But your buddy sent you something. Yeah, he's so. I've been listening to his music for about like a year now, and I got hard. my I got my Spotify reviews back, and apparently, I listen to a lot of his music. So, I sent him a little screenshot, and he sent me a little package. So, and uh, who is this that you sent this to? Uh, his name's D Shaw Two Five Five. So the entertaining part about this is uh, Dre's last name is Shaw. So it's two D Shaws. Yeah. And they they're gonna do some stuff. So you what do you got there? Uh let's dive into it. So so I guess this D Shaw guy sent him sent Dre here uh I guess a thanks for being a fan kind of setup. Signed cozy from D Shaw. And So I guess it's Mad Shaw. That's that was their Mad collaboration Shaw. for that album. The producer, Mad Cutler, I think. And then what's this? And then a signed CD from D Shaw saying, "Yo, Drayton, thanks for the support. One love, signed D Shaw two five five. Nice. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so you got a little little D Shaw action there. That's Sorry for the glare. D Shaw and his producer. And then a uh, little little. So little, he actually set up deal. He actually met this producer over TikTok a little over a year ago and decided to collaborate with him and they put together this little masterpiece. So we were talking about on the ride on the drive over here we were talking about this and Dre you you said right and you said you wanted to talk about it now too so I'm going to bring it up. Okay. You said that he was Tennessee rap. Not Tennessee, Louisiana. <laughs> No, you did say Tennessee rap. No, you rap, said though. Tennessee rap. I got it mixed up. Okay, so he's Louisiana rap. Yeah. Louisiana rap. Okay. And I was kind of like confused about the whole like How can it be? So if, if you're rap? if you're one of one of my subscribers or you watch this video and you check out the what we're going to react to and you have any kind of talking point on Louisiana rap or like I was talking about East Coast, West Coast, and they were he was he we got a debate between mm -hmm. Cali and New York, and I As said well, it's really know. East Coast, <laughs> West Coast. So, <clears throat> if you have any input on if there is like Louisiana rap or Talk Texas rap below. or Georgia rap or North Dakota rap or North Dakota <laughs> rap or Canada <laughs> rap or Ontario rap, whatever. Like I I follow Hangover Gang, and I know Tom Tom McDonald's from Canada. And he doesn't really consider himself Canada rap. Canada rap. Or California <laughs> rap. He's just Tom McDonald. Yeah. But and then Nova Rockefeller, same way. Adam Calhoun, he's like from Kentucky or something. I wonder if he Kentucky or Tennessee as well. I wonder if he considers himself I mean, you could also take the top of like Michigan rap. Cause Michigan rap. Yeah. Now there's a Michigan rap too, huh? Yeah. I, I promise you. There's some people out there that would argue there is Michigan rap. Yo, man, we're here to represent all of them. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I we're gonna do a video review mm -hmm. um, on this on this CD he sent him. There's this track on there called Gator Flow mm -hmm. by D Shaw. It's D Shaw. What was this? What was the channel? I got D Shaw two five five. Yeah, I got it already pulled up over here. Um, D Shaw two five five. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's it's muted already. Beautiful. Okay, so um, what we're planning on doing now, I have absolutely no idea what we're about to get into. Like, no idea. On my notes wrap, I've heard Dre's stuff. So i got to move this camera, so bear with me. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be a long, drawn-out process. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Um, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, and... Oh my gosh. There we go. We're doing that because the screen we're going to watch is over here, over here. So, I'm going to bring that. I'm going to take care of some stuff over here. Boop. There we go. Um <clears throat> All right. 
You excited? All right. So I'm I. I've never heard this person. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I've only heard like bits I and pieces. I just want honest. I want honest opinions. I keep it one hundred. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. All right. Unmuted. It. Are you guys ready? All right. Ready. So also, if you guys are watching this from the Two Hoodies and Three Cast channel, um, I'm going to try to put links below to this guy's page, the D Shaw 255. Mm -hmm. And you don't have anything on YouTube yet, do you? Not currently. No, but you have stuff on Spotify? Not currently. Not Everything's yet. unreleased. I'm working on dropping an album within this next month on the 19th. Okay, so when you get an album drop, Am I making my debut? We'll we'll bring you back on here and you'll do some stuff here. Alrighty. We might even do it as a live feed. Alright. And let people interact. That'd be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. CJ, are you having fun? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Now, you've heard this track. Yeah, I've heard it, yeah. Have you? I haven't. I've only heard bits and pieces, but I don't think I've heard this song. Okay, so this is called Gator Flow by D Shaw 255, and this is the official music video. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Yeah. Yo. Look. Where all my loved ones we about to make it happen Faithful rapping half a decade Still barely gaining traction Ain't the past, man, no more We can't be racing backwards Embrace the passion, I know Go keep me sane and power Take the What do you got? Do you speedboats really go backwards in the in the bayou? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I got some friends that live out here From the bayou and from Louisiana And I've heard some crazy stories But I have never once seen a speedboat go backwards I mean, he said he was racing backwards. He did say he was racing backwards. Um, I like his flow. I'm going to back it back up. I like his flow. Um, I saw a picture of him earlier, mm -hmm. so that didn't surprise me, but not what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. You was expecting something completely different. I didn't know what I was expecting. You were, you were, about, you were just... After, after the first time I saw Tom McDonald... Mm -hmm. Was a song called "People So Stupid." Mm -hmm. He's dressed up in a suit. It's like a, it's like a newscast recording where he's a news anchor, and he's talking some just crazy shit that you're just like, it. It should be the song instead of being called "People So Stupid." It should have been called "Trigger Warning." <laughs> <laughs> but um, and and then I've gone on to listen to more of his stuff and have been totally blown away by like the like the human side of him mm -hmm. while he says and does things in this most absurd kind of satirical way. I'm saying my personal Like he does everything com comically to try to like break the ice. My personal experience with D Shaw, he's really down to earth. Yeah, it really seems chill, that way. And he likes getting his point across. Yeah, so I'm going to let you do the like I'm going to let this first verse play through, and when we get to what's like supposed to be the, the chorus mm -hmm. or the hook, I'm going to let you tell me when I'm going to stop it and let you talk about what, what okay. you get out of the lyrics. Cool? Because I, I'd have to listen to it a couple times. And right now, I'm, I'm, it takes me a minute to kind of get a hold of the flow to be able to follow the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So I apologize if we back this up a couple times. Yo. Yeah. Look. Where all my loved ones, we about to make it happen Faithful rapping half a decade Still barely gaining traction Ain't the past, man, no more We can't be racing backwards Embrace the passion, I know Go keep me sane and power, take the cash Soon as my set's over We celebrate and made the last Like jewelry pressed over some ancient glass I came to clash with anyone claiming I'm making basic raps You boys nuts, macadamians If we stay in facts Met a chick from Arkansas Pretty thing with amazing rack Forgot her name, but dang What an angel, the way she raised her back Take me back to days I was grateful to drink a Case of paps, that's some hay straight to the face along with an eighth of gas. That word play. You're nuts, and I'm liking the macadamians. That was pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> and the razorback. The razorback. And then I get the, I, I, I caught the racing, we're not racing back, we're moving forward. Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, I like no that. No more racing backwards. No racing. more racing backwards. Uh, you know, on a, on a totally different note, on the whole racing backwards. A lot of people are always looking back at when they were first heard something or they first got into a certain type of 
that we'll say for musicians wise mm -hmm. musicians look at stuff and they they have things from their past that influence them when they're moving forward and creating their music mm -hmm. but they're creating something that's been inspired by something from their past mm -hmm. But you don't want to be, you don't want you to be act, operating in the past. You want to operate in whatever this new thing is that you've been inspired by your, by the people that have inspired you to do this new thing. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at your past, trying to bring back things from your past, generally it's, it's better just to move forward, learn from the past and, and get moving on forward a little a little like positive stuff there. Yeah. So what do you uh what do you like about his flow and the and the lyrics here? Well, he's got some really intricate flow patterns and for me I can follow along pretty easy with what he's saying. And he first time I heard him, like he kinda of blew me away for a second because I got that little twenty second clip, you know, and talking about him racing backwards, razor back and all that. I was just like, damn, and they caught my caught my attention. So I was like, all right, you know. I was like, you know, my name's D. Shaw too. When I introduced myself to him, and he was like, yeah, there's only room for one sheriff in this town. I was like, that ain't my ain't my artist name, mm -hmm. but it's that's funny. My real uh, name. It's funny. I'm, I, obviously, I'm older. I grew up like when I was coming up, elementary school, high school age. That's really when rap really first started. Mm -hmm. Like rap, there was no rap. Mm -hmm. Um, like. Um, Fat Boys, Run DMC, and that kind of stuff started it. And then you had a handful of other bands after that. But, I mean, you ended up with like NWA and Ice Cube and Dr. Dre and Ice T and Wu Tang. Two Live Crew. Well, Wu Tang's way later. Two Live Crew uh, and that Masai. original early crew of, of rap artists. And to be honest, until I started following some independent rappers like the Hangover Gang with Tom McDonald and. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nova Rockefeller and Brandon Hart and um, Adam Calhoun and all the people that are kind of in that mm -hmm. in, the, in that kind of crew. I I had watched reaction channels to people that were serious rap artists that were like breaking things down, talking about double entendres and the word flow and the rhyme flow and all this different stuff that was like way over my head. And I've watched enough now that I've got I get it. And the wordplay is a whole other side of it. There's one thing to get up there and just spit bars and rap and come up with a rhyme scheme. But if you can actually get it where you've got a rhyme scheme with, with the bars and then you've got two things going on at the same time mm -hmm. that are still tying into what your overall theme is and you can make that work and then you come get a third or a fourth and back and forth, that's where your brain starts blowing up. And you're, you're like, like well, how are you? Hold up. And then you get these guys that are making their own beats they're, they're doing their music, they're writing their lines, they're coming up with hooks, mm -hmm. and then they're producing and they're putting it out there, and it's like, it's my hat's off to them. It's just all talent. It took me like almost four months just to get this thing working right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and these guys are making, doing stuff that's like out of the park. Mm hmm I say we, this is a Maybe. two minute track that we're going to drag on for like two years. <laughs> but we'll just. Two years later. There we go. She raised it back, take me back to days I was grateful to drink a case of paps that summer haze Straight to the face along with an eighth of gas Yeah, as the time's ticking my mind Thinking something like the rule in a Cajun dad Or a mom's kitchen pond Fishing straight from the land where cypress and swamps Glistens got the ride with us in case them Please decide to snow Gotta have a gator and a gator flow video Yeah, yeah, yeah. look Nowadays I'm just writing whatever soul pleasing Had to slow it down, give it less talking and more breathing A scorpion with the words how they sting The whore vegan but she slurped on the meat It's crazy, that's crazy You're all I mean, he said he <laughs> said <laughs> Wait, Hold up, hold yeah, up I caught, uh, We're getting right to that <laughs> I caught so he that said, so he's like, He said that these days I have to slow it down Do more breathing and less talking But you know, sometimes the way he his flow's going, he doesn't have to be really fast and say a lot of stuff because mm -hmm. he's still getting he's, he's getting he's everything getting he needs across. to say. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not really 100 percent sure what we just heard, but we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I heard. What did you hear? Slurping meat, <laughs> like so. doing the dirty. 
Okay. Let's hear that. Let's, let's hear that one more time. That's how they sting. The whore vegan, but she slurped on the meat. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Your aura's reeking. I peeped the stench from a mile away. No time to play. Was off on the deep, and I had to climb my way back up on the mountain. That's never ending. An elevation journey to the top surely comes with some pending destinations. Yeah. It's like none of this life is certain. None of this has a purpose. When I write through the night, is it worth it? Out of sight, like a light that's been burned up. I'm isolated. I mind my business, but still surprised how I'm underrated. You're highly gifted. You swear it's high. Glyphics to listeners that just don't get it, man. There's more to this world than cars, riches, pills, and brands. Still, I stand on the same tin that I started with. Who hard is this? And the pain I'm run hopping, nobody guarding this. Who hard is this? And the pain I'm run hopping, nobody guarding this. Who hard is this? Bitch. I like it. I like that. Um, I I like the fact that he's willing to like. Say his say his piece and be like, hey, I'm real. This is me, and if you don't like it, tough shit. Mm -hmm. And he said when he said writing all night and like wondering if it's even worth it. Like that's how I feel sometimes when I'm like drawing and stuff, or like when I'm writing my stories. I feel like why am I gonna put all this time in it and it's just not going anywhere and it just like I feel like it's not gonna be worth it or something. So you know, um, uh, I had started writing something years and years ago, and I'll tell you, and at least on the creative side of things. You gotta, you gotta create for yourself. You can't create, and not, with you're the, not, you're not creating. Going well, audience. who is is gonna like this? You're not creating, you're creating for, it for yourself. Audience. It has to be for and you then the first. Audience comes second. And the other now thing, we, though, is some of us are so, so big on the perfectionist side of things. Mm -hmm. I definitely that it, am. That, I can't say I am. That's that why you I will like, anything. you'll end up like art wise. Ah, oh, that's I gotta start it. I literally did that and once. Sometimes you just gotta like. Parts. Sometimes you just gotta just let it go. And just do it. I can't do um, that. He'd be telling me to just do like there was a, and turn it into something. I can't do that. I have to make sure it's completely perfect. There was a, I like it. Uh, a method to it. There's so always a method. We did a I did a reaction with Gypsy um a couple weeks ago for a high ren. The song High Ren by mm -hmm. Ren. I like Ren. And uh one of the points that he made during that track, he was talking about the fact that I'm not doing this for the dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this to sell a million records. If only one person grabs a hold and I can connect with one person and they get something positive out of what I'm doing, it was worth it. And that was a that he said more than one, but he said he was arguing with himself in that track. It was pretty right. cool. But fighting with his inner demons. That was that was a pretty pretty solid setup. Yeah. So uh, I like this. I like D Shaw two five five. Um, I really, I really look forward to working, working with him here soon. Um, so, uh, we're definitely gonna we'll upload this. I've got a, I did, did three, four videos the other night. Mm -hmm. um, one of them I'm um, doing a copyright dispute, mm -hmm. which I should, I figure it'll go through. A couple of these things are freaking hilarious, but I've got a couple more I want to do. But I'm gonna get this one up in order. Okay. So, um, I'll try. I've got. One or one or two I'm gonna to post tonight. The the biggest issue is uploading. In so um time. for all you out there, uh I'm gonna put a link to D Shaw two five five two 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 five, excuse me, two two five. Go like, go subscribe, go get show him some love, hit him up. Um I guarantee he'll he'll probably and again right back. I got like <laughs> I got like over 300 subscribers and thousands of views on some videos. So I know that a bunch of you people are watching this stuff. So hit subscribe, hit subscribe. Um, subscribe. Turn on those notifications. So, you know, the next time we make a video or next time he has a guest on his channel, who knows? It might be D Shaw. You never know. Not this D Shaw, the other D Shaw. Maybe might be both D Shaw's. You never know. So anyway, Drake out, CJ, Dre, we're out. <laughs> Peace. Two hoodies, three cats. Like, subscribe. We love you guys. We will catch you guys next time. Thank you for being here.